Hello guys, it is me obviously and it's a morning, it's a nice sunny morning today so that's pretty good. Not sure we'll stay that way because men's we forecast rain all weekend so I've got itchy nose as you can see. Obviously yesterday was like Friday the 13th but I always think for me Saturday the 14th is never a good date for me because I feel like every, well most Saturday the 14th Last time it was the Saturday the 14th, I think it was in, in January this year. And Saturday the 14th of January wasn't too bad, so. I'm gonna say most Saturday the 14ths are usually bad for me because most Saturday the 14ths, something bad always seems to happen to me. I think for me, rather than Friday the 13th, it's always Saturday the 14th. That's my bad luck day. I've only really had, had a near miss today, so. I haven't always like, pushing like plug hole things for bathroom sink. I don't want those who push it in, they like, push it out to like release the plug. And it's like no so like crowbar like thing that's work where sometimes some bath plugs have like more like handle things where the tap is so you can pull the plug out. Like I've got, I've got like nothing like that. You literally have to move the plug and like push the button to release it or put it in. Um, anyway so I was like filling the sink up to wash my face this morning and I pushed the plug down and then I couldn't I Push the plug to get back up again and it won't come back up again. He was like literally, I think it was like lodged into the plug thing. And I was like, uh, only on Saturday the 14th. So I tried to get like one of those like cheese knife things with like, with like thin sort of metal things to try and prise it open. I researched online and it says use a suction cup. So I got like a suction cup from all my shower trays and the shower. Got one of those like little suction cups. Place a suction cup on the lodged in plug and I only pulled it like quite slightly and hey presto the plug came back up again so I've managed to fix my plug now with suction cup so that was very much a near miss so um yeah but at least that crisis is now averted today I'm going to Liverpool so now I don't really need anything so like specific um but I don't know I just want to move today and just like go for a walk and go for a mooch so that's what I'm going to do um, and then, yeah, today's my oyster. Okay, hi, hi, I'm here in the club now, so I'm seeing Costa Coffee right now. I've got a camera cappuccino. I'm just trying to connect to the Wi Fi as it is. Yeah, I've also got to make shots for a project which I'm doing, so feeling quite productive, and it's only about. It's only like 12 yet and I'm already feeling like really productive so I'm um, gonna go shopping so Okay, I'm back from Liverpool now. My camera's dead, so I'm going to use my phone for this like shot. So that's why I look a bit more crustier than usual because usually my camera is like a filter where the edits out all your crustiness and it makes you look so flawless and so beautiful. But this camera, this phone camera, you're getting like the real thing. So this is the real me, you guys. Okay, right, so I went to Liverpool obviously because you saw Liverpool and also just said that I went to Liverpool as well. So I went to Liverpool, but I went shopping. I got this like, well, I got a few things, but one of the things which I got was this like hands free neck mount thing. So I got this thing from like Matalan. So I got a few things from, like Matalan, but this like on where like the till bit was. So I wanted to get it for quite a while, but just never really got around to sort of getting it. So, like I've always saw it and I thought, oh, I'll get it, but then like never get around to getting it. But I thought, you know what, today's the day. But I'm going to be owing, owing, owning a neck thing. So it's basically where you just put your phone around your neck and it like makes it like 
you can like have it around your neck and you can stream videos without having to like, I don't know, bend down or do all that kind of stuff. So, so this is what it looks like. I know this goes the back of my neck. Oh. Okay, but I don't want to break already. Two hours later. I don't know. Here's what it looks like. So, pose of your neck like this. So imagine like lying down like I am. And then you put your phone cap there. So I've got an old phone which I'm going to use. I've got this phone here. Um, you basically put it like this, like a vertical kind of thing. And then if you look here, you have this phone here. So the phone fits there. You can turn around so you want to like landscape. But the idea is you can literally lay in bed and just tap on your phone. But you can literally kind of do it and it's really good. And yeah, I am literally addicted to this thing already. I say this is the greatest purchase I've made for today. So yeah. I mean, aside from like banging it, like in my lifetime, I've bought like materialistic things like cl like the fancy clothes and you know, I've been out to like fancyish restaurants before and you know, they're not all like materialistic things, but you know, those things just don't suffice, you know. This very device is probably the best thing I've bought, like I have to say. Anyway, I'm gonna um, rec stop recording on this phone and then put it on this phone, this stamp thing so I can like play on my phone all day long. <laughs>